Ignore the Pacers jersey, just focus on the Tigers hat. Oh, dear Lord. Yeah, let's just get into this one. Pitching, um, part of the reason we lost our starters. We only have, like, a few starters that I, I, I'm fine with. <laughs> but other than that, that's... I feel like, because Urania will have, a, he, he can pitch for like four innings and be completely fine. But after like four or five innings, he's done. He, he, he starts to slow down and make worse decisions. And I feel like he'd be a better closer or reliever. A reliever who can pitch for like the, like after six innings, the seventh and eighth inning, he could be a good reliever, and then you bring in your closer in the ninth, like a, a Soto or Lang type of player. But as a starter, I, I just don't know. He, he needs to build up some more stamina. I know Soto didn't, well, he didn't pitch really bad, but he didn't pitch really good today, but He's still a solid really, uh, closer, in my opinion, because you're going to have bad games. But Urania's had two not very good outings at, at starter, so it just sucks. On to the next segment, which is... Hmm. Defense. Defense is usually not the reason we lose games. Defense is usually the reason we win games. But today, uh, it's the reason we lost. So, um, if you didn't see the play where the third baseman fumbled the ball, allowing... After a hit, first the third baseman fumbles it, allowing a guy to get to third safely, and then someone on first to get to second. I don't remember who was on base for Cleveland. But what would have been, you know, a guy on third and a guy on first turned into a guy on third and a guy on second. You know, not a big deal if you can play good defense on the next one, but gets hit to the outfield, misses the cutoff man, hits the backstop, Catcher doesn't catch it, rolls to first base. Both of the Indians' base runners score. It's 2-5. to five. And I want to put a bullet in my head. Because that... That was just really bad. That... That, that defensive showing right there was in, inexcusable. There, there's no... No excuse. That's just terrible. But they don't mess up that often, so I can't get too mad at them because they're going to mess up every once in a while because our defense is usually very good. But it just... <sighs> it just sucks. I, don't, I didn't like it. On to the next segment. While our hitting wasn't the best, it was still better than last game. It, it was actually a lot better than last game. Um, Wilson Ramos, very good hitter. He's hitting home runs like he's supposed to. That's what he's paid for, and I'm glad he's hitting very well. Also, a bit of an off-topic thing. J.D. Martinez has three home runs. Glad I decided to start him for my fantasy team today. Let's go to W. But back to Tigers. Um, yeah, it was way more. It, our, our hitting was way better today. It was way better. Yeah, that's it. On the next one. It didn't win us or lose us the game, but on the next one. I mean, it, w it probably would have won us it if we were only down one run. Especially with Robbie Grossman getting walked as much as he does. 
and just how consistently we're getting on base. We probably would have scored at least one run in two innings. On the next segment, the last one. Like the way that I dance, she like the way that I move, she like the way that I rock, she like the way that I walk. In summary, um, our pitching. Uh, good at the beginning, bad at the end. Our defense, good at the beginning, bad at the end. Our offense, good at the beginning, not so good in the middle, and then eh, it kind of fell apart at the end. But I feel like that was because of momentum and just we didn't have much of it. And a one-run deficit is way different than a three-run deficit when you're going into the final inning. So... sucks see you guys next time as always i'm not funny and let's hope we do better next game please against oh yeah the next game against the astros in houston Ooh, can't wait that's gonna be fun see you guys next time